Hey, I'm Zansi. Mzansi, this Afrosol singer Bulela Mkutukana, best known by her stage name Zahara, could face jail time after a warrant for her arrest was issued on Friday. Now, the warrant of arrest was issued by the Johannesburg Commercial Crimes Court sitting in Palm Ridge Magistrate Court. That's where Nomi Androvo was sitting after she failed to show up to answer to a charge of failing to submit her personal tax returns. Now, here's more. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know, you're here for the story. Go ahead. Click the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll never miss an update. Mzansi, this Umtualawa Muyangi Sinda hitmaker was charged by the National Prosecuting Authority early this year for contravening South African tax laws for failing to submit her personal tax returns for 2017 and 2018 to the South African Revenue Service. Now, she appeared in the same court last month, and the matter was postponed to Friday last week, where she was supposed to plead to the charge and possibly begin the trial. But the Pandula singer copped a snook at the court when she failed to appear for apparently no plausible reason. And as a result, a warrant for her arrest was immediately issued. But its execution was stayed until Wednesday, October 27. Now, NPA South Gauteng spokesperson Pindim John Ondoane confirmed that a warrant of arrest had been issued against the Lolliwa Kruna. We can confirm that a warrant of arrest has been issued for Bulelo Zahara Mtukukana for her failure to appear in the Johannesburg Commercial Crimes Court sitting in Palm Ridge on her charge of failing to submit her personal tax returns. But it was held over until Wednesday, October 27, she said. Now, the warrant of arrest was issued a month after the songstress recorded her second criminal record after paying an admission of guilt fine of 2,000 rand for failing to submit her company Zahara Army's income tax returns after pleading guilty to the charges. She paid the fine when she appeared in the same court after the NPA charged her in her capacity as the director of her company, Zahara Army Projects, PTY Limited, for failing to submit company tax returns for 2017 and 2018 to SARS. Now, after paying the fine, the case was removed from the court role. And John and Rana said the NPA welcomed the outcome of the case involving her failure to submit her company's tax returns, as that would send a strong message to would be to would be tax dodgers that no one was immune from the tax compliance and that all people were equal before the law. Zahara recorded her first criminal record when she paid a 1,500 rand guilt fine for failing to appear in the same court for the same case in June. Now, this after the court gave her an option to pay the quantum of or spend three months in jail after finding her guilty of contempt of court. The musician, whose career has taken a nosedive and has been struggling to pay her bills, handed herself over to the police after a warrant was issued in April uh, against her. Now, there you have it, Mzansi. Nobody is immune to paying tax. Everybody's got to pay tax from the little man to the bigger man. Now, do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.